Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again and this is Mukesh Kumar from Youngster Dev. In the previous video, I have discussed about strings in Swift. Now the topic is arrays in Swift. So without delaying anything, let's get started. So first of all, how do we define array in Swift? So as we know, we have two keywords where and let, where is for variables and let is for constants. So we are declaring air colon within the square brackets string type equals to square brackets and some values like John Steve's Mary etc right so this is the way in Swift to define an array with the values and for let's say integer type we will define int array colon int equals to not double quotes the value will be like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 like so so this is a so this is an array of type integer in the similar way we can define for double float etc right now let's see how do we define empty array so for that we are using where my error colon whatever the type you want and only the square brackets without any values right or where my array equals to of type string and parenthesis this way we can also define empty array right next array properties sorry first is to check empty case my air dot is empty it will return true or false according to its value means it returns a bool value let's see the result yeah so my array is empty that's why it is returning true value right and the next we have count like array dot count how many values it is containing three so in this array we are having three values one two three third is we have contains and we will match the value like array contains john name or not like i will place it the value which we want to check let's run yes true let's say if i write another name otis let's see what will it will return false yes now how we can modify the values of an array modifications in array like i want to append the values appending means the existing value will remain same and at the last position of the array we will append the values add the values after existing values right like array dot append we have two methods of append one is new element and the second is the content of means the sequence right like i can append one value in first method and more than one value means the sequence i can add with second method new element and the new element will be jerry right so let's print the values yeah now the values are john steve mary and jerry at the end is value is appended right so this is our append for single element only and second will be
append content of here you can add multiple values like array dot append content of and the sequence will be like Harry Stephens Hudson like I can define let another array equals to these values I'll cut it and paste it I can add that another array and let's run it now yeah this way I can add multiple values now the array is with these values John, Steve, Mary, Jerry, Harry <laughs> sounds good sounds uh, like rhythm <laughs> Mary, Jerry, Harry Stephens and Hudson right cool now move to insertion insertion in array how can I insert values into an array like I want to insert a value at first position or in the middle of the position or at the last position position so we have insert functions so let's see like air dot insert yeah here here we have new element and with the add position means at which index value you want to add that particular value so the value is like Jake and at position 0 so all the existing values will be shifted forward and at index 0 the Jack will be inserted let's run and see the values let me print array and just print that array run it yeah see my first value was John Steve then Steve's and Mary Jerry Harry Stephens and Hudson but I have inserted the value at index 0 Jack so here is the result you can see right and now uh, at between Mary and Jerry I want to insert more values so what will be the position 0 1 2 3 4 4th fourth position so array dot insert and the name is Tom here and 4 now again print the value I'm cutting that and paste it here now print yeah so between Mary and Jerry the Tom is here right and if you want to add multiple values like you need to add that array you need to create new array which you want to add with those multiple values like array dot insert with content of and collection will be your array that is another array and the position will be like randomly I'm selecting it let's see the result yeah so 8th position is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is the last. So 8th position is Hudson. Hudson will be moved forward. And from here the new array will be added. And that values will be Harry Stephens Hudson. Harry Stephens Hudson. Then Hudson again. Okay. Now we have remove. And for remove we have array dot remove remove all and remove at remove at will be for the particular value at a particular index like I want to delete let's say first value so put 0 and print the value of an array to see the result see and this array jack is removed right and if you want to remove all so you can also check before removing all let's try remove first and remove last remove first 
and print the value so John will be removed yes and now remove last so there are two hertz in at last there will be one after running this remove last method let's run yes only single Hudson is here now now we can check remove all now the array will be empty yes after remove we have replacement like how can we replace the values in an array replacing values in array so first of all I need to comment this so that all values should not be removed for replacing you just need to specify the index like uh, first is Steve's and I will put zero index value and the name will be Steve Jobs Steve Jobs so Steve's will be replaced by Steve Jobs let's print it yeah run it yes so as you can see um, Steve is replaced by Steve Jobs right cool and we also have more functions for removing the items but not in the existing array like we have drop first drop last drop first multiple items and drop last multiple items right like array dot drop first so steve's jobs should be removed but it will not be removed from the array yes what does it mean uh, these drop functions will not affect your existing array you need to declare a new one like let a equals to this is statement and now print a so after dropping first value all the values will be initialized to a array as you can see after running this see this is a array in which steve jobs is dropped from first position right and now i want to check that hudson should be removed and stephens will be the last so just declare another array let b equals to add dot drop last and print b array like so b array is this and hudson from last is dropped right this way it is it works and now for multiple values let's see equals to add drop first with k means first two elements first two values should be removed let's see the result after printing this yes steve jobs as you can see steve jobs and mary is dropped see array is coming from tom right and now harry will be the last after dropping these two values stephens and hudson just write it let d equals to air dot drop last with k means two values and print it array d let's run it so harry is the last one as stephens and hudson is dropped from the last so this is all about array in swift there are more functions but these are the frequent one which will be used so frequently so i hope you enjoyed this video and learn about array in swift if you like this video don't forget to hit like button subscribe my channel and share it with your friends who want to learn ios programming language so thank you guys thank you for watching this video i will come up with another topic in the next video till then take care bye bye shapa hai wherever i go wherever i see i'll remember yo if you remember